We are gonna party like it's Instagram 2012. Where? Right here. When? Right now, today on Fast Friday. Hi everyone, welcome to pal to tech Today we are talking about what Fujifilm calls advanced filters. It's kind of a misleading name because you would think that it's a feature intended for professional high-level lens and light manipulation or some kind of advanced setting that must be really important because it even has its own dedicated spot on the control dial. So what are they? Advanced filters are basically preset looks that your Fujifilm camera applies directly to your JPEG file as soon as your shot is taken. To access the advanced filters, the first thing you need to do is rotate your drive dial to ADV for advanced. Next, you need to go into your menu, into the camera drive setting, and you'll see advanced filter setting right there. And you can rotate through all of the various filters that you have. These are pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but let's just take a look at a few here. One of my favorites is the partial color. And partial color allows you to choose red, orange, yellow, yellow, green, blue, and purple, which is really cool because it can isolate a specific color in your photo. So here is the original RAW file I took, and now here is the partial color yellow advanced filter that I applied. And of course, there's also a miniature filter, which takes two thirds of the image and blurs it out and keeps one third across in focus. Here's the RAW file before, and here it is with the miniature filter added. Same thing here, RAW file before, Filter added. So for example, if I wanted to take a photo and have only the purple color, that would be fairly easy. Here are the original colors. Now, if I go to rotate the dial to advanced filter, and in the advanced filter, I'm going to rotate down and choose purple. There it is. I've got a couple of important tips for you when using advanced filters. The first is assign a shortcut button. I can't emphasize that enough. It's really weird where they've put the advanced filters setting. Every time you want to change an advanced filter, you have to go into the camera, into drive setting, down into advanced filter setting. What a hassle. So what I would recommend you do is simply assign a shortcut button. Press and hold down the DISP back button on the camera, then pick a button to assign it to. For the purpose of this demo, I'll assign it to the auto exposure lock button. And you wanna find where it says drive setting. You see that right there? Boom. Now, if you have the control dial set to ADV for advanced and you're ready to go, all you need to do is press your assign button and boom, it immediately jumps to the various filters. The second important point you need to know about advanced filters is that there is no histogram. Because of that, be careful because you could blow your highlights. So have a look at this photo I shot by the docks. Look at this white area where the docks are. I was in danger of blowing those highlights out. If I had just another stop exposed, I would have blown that out. And there was no way for me to see the exposure using a histogram. Number three, you cannot manually focus the camera when you're shooting advanced filters. I'm not sure the reason for that, but no manual focus. It has to be auto focus only. Number four, your ISO dial. You cannot set your ISO above 800. If you try and turn your ISO dial above 800, watch, I'm gonna turn the ISO dial, see? Boom, it goes into auto. Number five, the most important advice I can give you, always shoot raw and JPEG when using this advanced filters feature. You can get the kind of creative shot as your JPEG, but you have a backup raw file in case one day you decide, well, take a look at this. One day I may decide that I really actually want the rest of this image in focus and that this actually looks quite ugly, right? So I could just boom, go to my raw file right here. Always shoot JPEG and raw. So the bottom line on these advanced filters is they're actually kind of fun. They give you a creative way to experiment around with different looks and you can save and have your raw file should you want to go back to a normal shot. So get out there this weekend, take your camera, put it in advanced mode and shoot a couple of shots. See how creative you can get. That's your assignment for this weekend. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it the, where is it? Yeah, the like and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you next week. Take care.